Hi everybody, Mature Simmer here. So I am back on the farm. So at this point I am going to take this and put it away. As you can see, I did not have the opportunity to finish all the baling, but we are here already in April. I actually wasn't able to get in in March to plant. So I feel like I'm already behind the eight ball. So while it might be nice, this is kind of the reality that we have of, well, sometimes we just can't do all the work. It's going to be time to plant. Obviously, I'm just going to get everything put away. Uh, the good news is, you know, I did get through both fields kind of for the main stuff. So I think, you know, I had a million liters or so that have gone through the BGA. Right, just quickly check the greenhouse, and we've got, uh, we've still got 7,000 liters of water, so there's not a panic there to get things done, but I need to get, like I said, the planter out and going, and I need to get oats in the ground. All right, so I'm coming down here to get this tractor for planting, but I can see some of this did not take. So I'm going to get these pushed over. I got some of them picked up already. Looks like we have one additional farmer that's on here. All right, I probably went too far the other way. So we'll get these done. My guess is that the BGA was already empty. I think it was January, so we're already two, three months in. I don't think, I don't think it can run that long. It could be wrong. I mean, we know we had less than 200,000 here. So, no, it, pro it probably still was running. I guess the easiest way to tell is biogas income. And yes, it does exist. So you can see we put it in late January and made 30,000, about 30, you know, 35,000 will certainly be there. You know, and for something that didn't take that long, I see that I have a bale out there. I don't know that I want to, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll deal with it later. Because um, pushing it that far, the likelihood of it making it, and it's just going to be a lot. So it's probably better to pick it up or when I have more time because once again I'm in a position now I've got maybe an hour and a half that I can do things t right now and that is not going to be that much so I don't even know that I can get the small field done in that time. I think I can. I don't think it takes that long. Um, I'm going to fill up and repair. It's going to take some money down here, but always partially kind of why I have this as I do, because this is a great place to just come in and do this. So 9,000, and always it's a little bit different when we get in, still filling up, but almost down to 10 but we're over the ha still staying over the half million which we should I'm trying to be really diligent about staying on task um, as you might imagine given I didn't get this hey done to, I, I've just been very busy last week uh, very very minimal time I kind of was able to get s some of my golf stuff done um, but that was pretty much it, besides from barely maintaining the farm. So that becomes the challenge. And there was a temptation of like, oh, especially yesterday when I looked at it and saw, oh my goodness, it's already March. I was like, do I skip the year again? And I'm, I'm trying to avoid making that an easy acceptable choice because otherwise I just keep chewing away at my funds and that just doesn't help so I'd rather you know really kinda do the work 
and keep the farm moving because then I can make progress. You know, I'm going to shut this off. I realized I haven't filled everything, and for tracking, uh, it's a lot easier. And yeah, I just realized the other thing, 35 needs to be limed. That's not going to happen either. Um, so I'm going to have a, a lower output than even normal. So yeah, I'm just, I'm struggling to be able to keep up with the work, which as you can see is why then I'm not kind of running around like crazy, like, hey, let's buy any land that comes up all over the map because I just don't have the time to work a huge farm. Again, my longer term goal, get to the point where I'm going to run kind of the cotton enterprise, but I need millions of dollars for that. So we will be farming oats and straw and whatever for many years to come while we build our way up to that. But yes, the longer term goal is to definitely get some automated cotton harvesting and then it's easier to expand the holdings and just set things up and let it go. All right, so I'm going to do that, come around, and that lets me straighten out a little bit better. And then I'll just chat with you for a little bit longer, just get you up to date about what I have seen between FSN and FOC. So we are planting on a unlimed field. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. So one of the things I was curious about, and I'm sure any of you that are tracking or whatever, very early on I had been told. I have also shared in several episodes that I have felt over time that yes, the f economic model here in Farmers Only Club versus Farming Simulator Network, FSN, that I was in for three years, that this model is much more challenging. And I now have data to back up that fact rather than simply gut feel. So after last year, that was 10 years in Farmers Only Club that I've played versus, you know, at this point I, I had, I think, 40, 50, maybe even 60 years of data in FSN, so I've, I've still got time to, to go, but I don't, it doesn't really matter, the, the thing's not going to change. But at this point, I have been able to make about, I, I think it's 30, 25 to 33 percent of the profit that I made, depending on how I really look at things and, and so forth. So, you know, let's say worst case, three times less than I was able to make in the same time period in FSN. So I think if we need any actual data to say, you know, hey, this is much more difficult here and therefore is just going to take much longer. I mean, it's going to take three times longer. So by the time, you know, and, and at that 10 year cycle, I probably was at the point where I was just settling in to have a, a, a farm that was big enough, that kept things going and so forth. But again, the difference is there were precision farming, which then required less time. Uh, decisions that ended up being made because you could still make some profit. You know, the challenge here is going to be like not liming. Uh, I think it's going to cost me 15% of the yield. And so this field last time did 90,000 ish. So that means I'm, I'm probably going to lose 12,000 liters off this field, which is going to be six, seven thousand dollars of, of income, not profit. Um, you know, the, the other benefit though, that I'm not too sad about not being able to lime is right now the fields are on a different cycle. And honestly, I have found probably just like on any farm, you know, a real farm in real life, like you, you're trying to do 
the same work uh, across your fields if you can. So it would be nice to maybe get them on the same cycle and this might do it because I think maybe they were only off a year and so at this point then this one won't be limed and then maybe 36 will come due after this season or this year and then I can try to lime in the off season because that was what was in the back of my head too is I can lime I can do whatever um, and I just I, I didn't um, and I'm, I'm just so tight on time because I'm sure some of you are screaming like lime spreads pretty wide why are you not now again lime doesn't spread as wide as fertilizer so that's the thing even fertilizing these fields takes 45 minutes to an hour so it, this could take me an hour just to fertilize or, or to lime the field and then I've not planted it and and so having a limed field that I ultimately can't plant before the planting season ends which is tomorrow and that's the thing like if I don't get it done today uh, I'm not gonna get it done I'm very very likely already looking at having weeding be done by AI so like once I'm done with this field I think I'm just gonna set the other vehicle to go and just weed this field and, and vice versa with the hope of getting this thing banged out you know if there was some way to do it quicker you know maybe I'd have it do all AI at this point even though that just again further eats at my profit but if I don't have the time I don't have the time and so what I didn't want to do given that I've shared with you that I had an hour and a half or so this morning I, spending an hour liming it like I, I get nowhere in planting so I kind of have have to make those decisions but yes I've I had made about four and a half million dollars of profit in FSN in the first 10 years versus about 1.5 million here so that just gives you an estimate so again if you're comparing the two multiplayer universes definitely this one will be the more challenging one for you to be profitable in you know I'm not making a lot it was not unheard of at this point partially because we were able to grow poppies we were able to do other things and then just the pricing structure and getting bigger equipment so which allowed me to run bigger fields a lot faster and so forth uh, I was making seven eight hundred thousand dollars a profit a year uh, relatively quickly within FSN and I don't know that I'm ever going to get to that point here so well, that's interesting so if I do not turn it off immediately like it does actually kind of put the straw under which is not a bad idea because I don't know that leaving straw laying around is great but I suppose it doesn't matter on the other side because then I can pick it up it'll stay there for the year and and so forth so that gets you up to speed but the, yeah the biggest share was kind of that off-season finances thing and now we have concrete data that you know I'm the same individual I'm playing kind of with the same philosophy and with that I'm able to make three times less profit here than I in FOC than I was able to in FSN so if you're looking for a less challenging experience and so forth FSN's your thing along with everything else I shared we're not gonna open that can of worms again I'm at this point you know six months eight months out from leaving that so I'm not gonna go there you wanna understand that watch the early videos of this series definitely was pretty raw in some of those about how I felt comparing the two as far as the quality of gameplay and so forth still real happy I mean the thing I can add here is we've definitely had mod updates we've had things that have been added um, they have talked about but they're potentially kinda looking at making some major changes that they've not been really explained what they might be because they said they're just kind of talking about them and looking at them 
you know, and I think some of it is FOC definitely kind of creates that maybe a, more than something like FSN did of what I'm doing right now like you find your groove and you just you just use it because that is the best way to do it and it just takes a while to to get any further so even the cotton thing cost of the harvesters is higher um, you know all that equipment cost of the production facility is significantly higher so it just means I need to wait longer and longer so the question is you know is it going to take me 30 in game years to even be able to feel I can start buying cotton harvesters maybe so maybe we're only a third of the way there with everything I've done but I'm gonna keep plugging away and I will see you in a bit I am back here bright and early this morning so let me hopefully get everything set up here pretty sure this is the first harvest day but could be wrong could have been yesterday as I said, I knew it would be a bit of a challenge. Now what I do know is this is the last harvest day. So I either get this up today or I don't. Other big news, I've been talking about how things have been a little bit quiet here and there. As we come back here on the map, we'll notice, most importantly, this field here is now available. We have had another FM depart. So there are now four of us. Where I think at the peak there were seven of us. So uh, definitely a bit of erosion of the number of people staying on the server. I'm hoping it's not a sign of things to come that we're just going to keep losing folks because the one who did leave, I mean, he was the one that was offering eventually to sell me Field 34. And, you know, I've been saving up and trying to get close and also honestly trying to determine if I'm going to do that or not or if I'm just going to maybe do that later and so forth. So I'll certainly keep an eye out in case there's any comments from folks saying, hey, I was going to buy this. Anybody interested? You know, I, at this point, all I can really do is say I'm, I am interested, but I don't have the funds to be interested, if that makes sense. Um, on the map, it shows 1.3 million, so I'm sure it's going to be close to that if I want to go ahead and purchase it, so I'm not even halfway there. I talked about the economic model at the start of all of this and how it compares to FSN so it is challenging but you know you can see over there the buildings and everything he had all gone you know the the pad and 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 what he had everything built on is still there but you know that's just kind of terraforming you can turn that back into grass if you want or or whatever But this is a bit of the nature of these online communities. You know, people come and go. It is, after all, just a game and just a pastime, and interest changes. And I think I've shared, you know, there's a, a Discord server that the folks that are here are also on. I think I should say the there's a, this was the farm sim server that folks that are in that discord server are also on because it does seem like i think they've been at that discord server far longer than they've been here in farm sim i think farm sim just became one of the things that they did to keep themselves entertained and the entertainment value for folks sometimes goes away you know and like anything certainly i have you know feelings here and there of yeah, I'm more interested, I'm less interested, but, you know, this this isn't a highly demanding or doesn't need to be a highly demanding thing that you do. So, for me, uh, it definitely has settled into what I've heard from other folks uh, that are still on the server when I've talked with them, that that's kind of how they look at it. You know, Farm Sim is there, they don't make a big deal about it, 
It's something they enjoy doing every once in a while, and this lets them do that. So I'm not anticipating folks, uh, you know, heading out of the the th other three that are on here now at this point. I'd say two of those fall into that category. Uh, I know less about the third, but all of them are there. And as I said, I've seen a lot of activity around uh, kind of a military game, uh, Arma that they seem to all be really getting into and spending a lot of time on. Uh, although that seems to maybe have ebbed and flowed as well. I think there was some hot and heavy attention to it for a couple weeks. I don't even know that it made it a month. Uh, and uh, somebody then who was talking about, I guess they were maintaining their server, said, you know, I'm going to take the server down right now because I'm sure they're they're paying for the the usage of it so it was probably a month uh, that they had signed up for for the server and they're like you know hey if we need to spin it up in the future we certainly can uh, before I jump in here I need to empty this so a bit of almost getting myself in trouble but we'll head over there You know, and this may, may not turn into the same type of thing with a straw. I mean, I'm not making... It's not like I'm not making anything with a straw. But the challenge ends up being... Uh, I, if I'm being honest, it's not like it's a huge motivator to go ahead and do. Because, you know, I think it's 75,000, maybe 100,000 off of everything. And it might not even be honestly that high. It might be closer to 50. It's more than selling the bales, so that's why I have it. And that building was 72000 so I think I made, you know, 30 just the other day working on things. But at this point, I'm pretty sure it's been three or four days since things uh, wrapped up. I'm also worried now that I think about it, I'm thinking my greenhouses may have stopped. Not quite yet, but we're really, really close. But yeah, you can see May is when we finished processing the straw. As I said, it's about 15000 a day. It seems to take, if I recall correctly, apologize for that blinking back and forth. Um, I was like trying to figure out, was I done, was I not? I, I knew what I was doing in my head, but there was a little bit of automatic clicking back and forth too that was happening but it takes about two to three days I think for it to process when it's full to get through 800,000 liters and again I'm you know I have maybe I forget I, I don't even remember if it was 1.7 1.8 million liters that I get off of here so it's close but you know definitely having processed 30,000, almost 40,000 there. Like, I'm pretty confident I'm past the point of paying back what that uh, biogas, small biogas facility cost me, which was kind of the goal of getting to that point, and then just basically having an easy way to turn my straw into more money. But then it also becomes, hey, if I'm busy, uh, you know, and sometimes busy, frankly, does become... I just feel like doing something else rather than picking up straw. So there is that reality. So you could say, I suppose, that you know sometimes I fall into that same pattern that the other folks that may not be making a lot of appearances here fall into as well. And that simply is other pastimes take precedence. So, you know, between real life and everything else, like the past weekend uh, for us here in the States was Super Bowl weekend, so didn't spend a lot of time where I might have spent a bit more time over that weekend doing something, some sort of Sims. I just really didn't. I just enjoyed watching some of the coverage and just uh, relaxing, doing other things. 
And so it's, uh, you know, I've, I've got that ebb and flow, but I don't really ever get to the point where I'm like, all right, I just don't want to do Sims anymore ever. I'm just going to stop. So, uh, you know, there will be stuff coming here all the time. That's the goal. But what it will be in frequency is always up in the air. You know, I think this last week I had some days where, once again, I just had golf videos up because I just haven't had the time, the actual real-life time to go ahead and spin something else up. Uh, and it, the easy ones certainly are Tower Simulator, so there will probably be simply more of that because it's, once again, something I can squeeze in into the small windows I have. And that's really what has been causing the challenge of doing some other things because there is a feeling of something I've stepped away for for a while. Uh, like it or not, there's a bit of a relearning curve that happens because I have forgotten the controls. So, you know, things even like lawn mowing simulator or firefighting simulator, construction simulator, you know, if I haven't touched them in a few months, I'm suddenly spending 15 minutes either re-looking at some of my old videos or looking at the information in game to try to remember how do I you know what, what button do I press to do this that or the other and those things don't make it into the episode obviously I move that out because you don't need to see me fumbling around and trying to remember how to do things people are there to see what's happening and just enjoy some gameplay but all of that then becomes kind of this overhead in my head of, oh, I haven't done that, and yeah, I really should. And right now, frankly, I'm thinking that way about Construction Simulator because they had some news about it. Just a hot, just a you know, a patch that came out, but they haven't had one of those in a while, and nothing major that was fixed or anything, but just one of those things that then brought it back up you know, kind of top of mind. Now I've got that truck in the wrong place because of the way I turned around. Shame on me. So now to not get a huge row of straw, I'm going to have to kind of play a tap dance of moving back and forth here and there and trying not to dump too much because otherwise I can't pick things up. There we go. Not too bad. So I, I think we'll be all right. And if we're not, frankly, as I said, you know, it's one of those things where I may be like, you know, it left a little bit there. I'm just going to plow it under when I plant next time, and that'll be it. You know, but it, it being, you know, completely transparent and open, like, that's where my head's at. I'm like, eh, I should, you know, pop in, do uh, a job or two in Construction Simulator. Because I'm interested in it. I still want to make progress. I've got uh, things that you know, add-ons and whatever, like spaceport and airport that certainly seem like if I, you know, when I get to them, they'd be intriguing. What am I missing? Why can I not click? There we go. I'm like, why can I not click on the harvester? I'm like, I know I'm not in the truck. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You know, and, and that's the just kind of the nature of things. Um, you know, there's nothing real-time. You know, this is the only real-time thing that I do that makes the channel. I also do racing stuff, so, you know, I spent hours yesterday, you know, trying to do some racing, and that isn't on the channel, and, um, but it takes time. So those are kind of the real-life things that happen, but that's the nice thing with a lot of the other things I do, even Tower Simulator or whatever, they're able to fit into the space of time that I have. So, that whole conversation really kind of stemmed from the fact that someone on our server decided this was not going to be part of those decisions of for the time they have that they're going to do. They decided to do something else, which, as I was getting at at the beginning of it, is kind of the ebb and flow in the nature of, of things like this. Because once again, if I'm trying to remember back, I think I moved over in last July. We're, we're now sitting here in February of the following year, so we're eight months, you know, coming up on nine months since I moved over to Farmers Only Club, and 
I, I was working on this server from very much the beginning. So these, you know, that that individual has been here on that server for that time and and before that, obviously, because everybody that is here was here before I got here. You know, and for some folks, as I've seen, nine months is a long time. When I used to sponsor a server in FSN, it was not uncommon that people would start to get restless at four to six months and want a new map, want to do whatever, you know, and that's the thing. Like, it's possible the individual moved to another server on another map. I don't think that's the case because, again, I would imagine there would have been maybe some chatter in the offline server, if nothing else, but who knows? You know, whatever decision they made, you know, and or real life has, has gotten the best of them, and Farming Simulator just isn't as interesting. But I am going to continue with my harvest. Just happy that I was able to get to it. I do have probably a couple hours, maybe a, three hours that I can still be on. I have definitely started to use more AI. Like, I've used the AI for the weeding uh, the last two years in a row. Uh, it's just really the only way that I can realistically get it done. Obviously, I still missed liming and all that, but, you know, there, there's a downside where I know it would make it... it, it would take the interest level away from me if, at this point, I start using it for, say, harvest or whatever. Because I think then I really start to dig f very heavily into the profit because the weeder still moves along relatively quickly compared to this. Uh, and I think it's actually maybe a little bit wider. It might be two or three meters wider than this header. So um, it just takes less time. And therefore, I think I, I do less than an hour of AI, which means it's less than $8,000 a year. And if I'm making, you know, 100000 it's basically an 8% hit to my profit. If I start adding other things into that, obviously then it's more and more. And if I start getting into that 15-20% where, you know, on something small, that's not going to be funny. It's one thing to have 15-20% if, as I said, I go to cotton, you know, perhaps I'm making more income because I'm able to turn it into production and you know, then I'd likely have field 34. And so I'm running harvesters on three fields at least, and 20% is still 20%. But if I'm making, say, 600000 a year or something, that's a, still a different financial model than making 100000 a year and, and cutting into that when I'm trying to save up to, to do other things. So... It would be one thing if I had reached the point where I'm like, yeah, this is kind of what my farm will be. That's all I want to do. And now any money is just money. Or really what it turns into at that point is any money is just a number on the, on the screen because I've got no reason for it. Um, you know, then maybe it doesn't matter. It's like, well, to keep things going, I'll run AI. I can then do what else, whatever else I need to do and not pay attention. Because I do find myself right, right now with how things are going in real life, uh, the ability that I used to have, which was do the farming and then basically, you know, pay attention to what was happening and then pay attention, turn around, turn the harvester around. You know, then it's on cruise control, and then I get whatever it is, two minutes for a row, and then I can do what I need to in real life for a couple minutes, come back, spend 15 seconds, turn the harvester around, do another two minutes of work of whatever it was that I was focusing on. But there's just been, the, the tasks I've got to do at this point aren't, it's not working well. Basically, I end up turning around and the harvester's in the tree, or whatever and you know like at this point now that nobody owns the next field like I'd feel less bad if I ran into their field a, a little ways and, and didn't notice but it's still not something I, I'd want to do because it's kind of obviously causing a problem in the realism that 
on the server, which is what it's meant to do, is that suddenly I've planted a, a row in the neighbor's field or something because I wasn't able to, to turn my attention back and, and stop. So that has made it more difficult to do anything more substantial here because my windows of time have definitely gotten substantially smaller to the tune of I, I probably have 25% of the time I did say four months ago or, or earlier than that. So it's been a shift that I thought was going to be maybe short-lived uh, and it is proving not to be and so that's part of what I'm trying to figure out as well. But for those who are, you know, loyal viewers, you know, I know I, there seems to have been a small base of you that are regularly commenting, comment across different sims and so forth. Again, always thank you guys for sticking with me uh, and that you find what I'm doing entertaining enough to, you know, leave it on in the background of your life and, and listen and watch as much as you can. It helps with everything on the channel keeps it sustained keeps it growing and so forth so thanks everybody for that but at this point i've gone on for 20 minutes here so this is going to turn into a relatively long year if people watch the whole thing so i am going to stop for the harvest portion here and then again um, you know you know the drill i'm going to harvest i'm going to go ahead and bale some stuff up, get it to the biogas. Come December, hopefully I'll do it in December this year, actually sell this crop instead of only being able to get on in January and then losing a bit of profit as well. And then we start all over again next year. So the nature of farming and therefore the nature of Farming Simulator and Farmers Only Club. So I will see you in a bit. Well, I'm back here again, and unfortunately, I missed the good day to sell things again. So, real life just keeps getting the best of me here, but I'm going to do the best we can by at least getting the oats and so forth got done, and maybe get some more of the straw taken care of. Whoops kind of looking at this backwards and I'm like what's going to happen here All right, let's see what we can do. All right, so oats Hobos 610, Reverend Green 620. I think that'll do it. So we'll do Reverend Green yet again. So that's the one up the road. It's actually not too bad. I think last year I got on here really late at night, and you can see the price is dropping. So I think it was like 570 or 580. Took a look at my tracking sheet, and yes, oh, I'm trying to turn too early. Took a look at my tracking sheet, and yes, it was 581. And so with that difference between everything, it's about $21,000 difference. So. And I could probably have done at least that much more if I had done it yesterday. So I just, I keep trying to get in here in December and it just didn't happen. All I can do is continue from where I'm at now, but that's Reverend Grain over there that we're seeing. So did get online with uh, several folks that are on the server. I think I've been expressing the last couple of years that I just wasn't sure if people were fading away since we had people dropping off. They actually were surprised that uh, the one individual that had left had left because they hadn't heard anything and hadn't even noticed it till I brought it up. So um, it is a bit of a, a shock to folks, but I did hear from the others that they are planning you know, they're not planning on going anywhere, so we should be here. We should be working away. They were actually doing quite a bit of stuff. I was picking up more of my straw, so I have done better with the straw this year than I did last year. But yeah, my entire profit this year uh, should be about 131000 
compared to 110,000 a year before. So, and that doesn't include because there's not really a good way to track what we get from the straw and the warehouses and all that. That's kind of somewhat passive income. I mean, obviously, I've got to go do all the work with the straw and and so forth so it's not entirely passive income but it's not something that I take and deliver like this that is easy to see All right, so it just popped over to look at the pricing again and just see if it had dropped but you know luckily it's not that long it only takes two loads and yes it's still at 620 so that will be helpful so if it does drop I assume it'll just be to 618 or whatever but that's the majority of the delivery because at this point we've only got about 90,000 left so I've gotten 70% of my product delivered so not too bad but I think I've got I think this may be it is those few uh, bales on the ground there so and then obviously what's sitting on the trailer but I'm going to get this done, and then we'll take a look at where the the uh, hay and so forth sits, or the straw. So I'll be back in a bit. So I am here. So you can see that's where we're at after selling our oats. Just a little over three quarters of a million dollars, so not bad. Went from about 600 to 750. All right, I'm going to have to push those others in into place, but this should take these, and they should go in. So 167, so my guess is it had fully stopped. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe it was still running. If it did, it's just stopped earlier today, so we've gotten some pretty good progress there. So I had left some uh, laying here on the ground from the other day, like a whole a whole load, so that probably helped. Because I think before we had seen that things had gone, you know, just a, a little bit past two days into three days. Uh, so, you know, the fact that we have two $15,000 days, and again, this facility was 72000 so just in the forty-five that I have from that one day, like I said, we're actually doing quite nicely. So I've absolutely paid for that building. Speaking of paying for things, uh, the folks I was chatting with that are on the server, uh, one of them is a farmer that I worked for, Lameric, who has the big operation for cotton. So I was kind of indicating that, you know, that may ultimately be what I'm trying to head toward. But, and I, I shared with them the, the finance model the difficulty or the the how it was more difficult I should say than FSN by about four times and knowing that I needed to save millions and uh, they were kind of chatting with each other and it kind of came down to that the feeling is yes that you need uh, four to six million dollars to really be able to do it all now, that doesn't mean I can't do some things in between, because uh, what I can do is I can certainly, you know, start to convert over at some point. You know, the question is, I don't know that I want to do anything before I can at least get one level of processing done, meaning the spinnery to turn cotton into fabric. Because I think that's enough of a jump. Because otherwise I'm trying to, like, sell cotton. And I'm just not sure. I don't know, I'll have to look at it. Because at the pace I'm going, holding out all the way to the end, frankly, doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, if I was running this farm in reality, which I kind of am, I mean, it, it's sim reality, but I just wanted to make sure. Now there is some laying over here too. Okay, I'm glad I came over here. I mean, not that not that I couldn't have picked them up later, but I would have been... Oh, there's a lot over here. I wonder if I'm going to end up filling everything up. Because it could be this whole last third of the field, which 
could be a few bales. I mean, we're already half full. But this, no, there's one over to the left that just showed up. And one out at the edge, so... I'm gonna, I got more here than I thought, which is good, because that's just going to add more income. But, you know, I think cotton will make more than oats. And then, obviously, I have the added piece of I don't have straw that I need to pick up. You know, and that's somewhat probably what I need to look at and, and go back and look at my models and so forth. Now, the challenge is, again, I've got pricing and things are a little different. That would be different from FSN because I obviously don't have any cotton numbers from here because I've, I've not run cotton on the farm but if I just then have to harvest, and once again, the nice thing with that, because with the cotton, you're not having to empty the harvester. Like, it just will drop the bale on its own if I've got, an AI, if I've got AI running, and it just keeps going, and then it will finish. All right, so I think this is it, but we've got 20 bales, where initially I thought I had five, so I've got four times the product to burn, you know, I could convert to cotton, and maybe that's worth looking at now before next year, and just plant cotton. Well, see, the challenge I'm going to have is I think I need to get a different planter. I don't think what I have will plant cotton. So it's not just buying a harvester, because initially I'm like, well, if I just need that, but then I need the bale pickup? Yeah, I don't know. I may not have enough here. But it's worth a peek. So I'm going to take a look at that in the off-season for sure. And, well, I'm going to say for sure, and then I'm going to run out of time and I'm not going to do it. Because at the end, you know, if i got to plant oats in two months, then I will plant oats, hopefully, in two months. Because, again, I may have a time problem with planting oats at any point. That's the other thing I need to look at. Does cotton go in the ground at the same time? I mean, it's only going to matter for this year or whatever, but now we've got it all. And we can turn this off. And we are all set. And now we will have almost 500,000 liters of straw still remaining to be processed. All right, so if I take a quick peek here, Cotton is over double the price, but again, I may not be getting as much cotton off the field as I am getting the number of the volume of oats off the field. There's always that, but per thousand liters, there's that. Okay, so one's square bales, one is round bales. I'm just not quite sure. They're both six meters wide, like why would you... I'm feeling like I'm missing something, because I think this is telling me it's for a 238 centimeter bale, it's 10,000 liters, where a, the square is 20,000 liters, but this is significantly cheaper. Like, I could pick up one of these. I mean, I'm feeling like I could get going on this, because I need this in the bale pickup so that I can pick up bales. So let's look at that. All right. So with this, I can pick up two squares. These are round bales. So I can pick up five or three bales. But again, at 10,000 a bale, this is 30, this is 50. Like, I'm not understanding, because this also tells me it's picking up two bales, and it'll do both round and square. But why would you do round? Because, yes, this will not plant cotton. But then the question is, like, I could sell this for 183, I think. But I'm not sure I want to because, you know, I, if I could hold on to it, that would be good. Because then that still gives me the option to do things. Otherwise, I, I now can't do these crops. All right, so I could go a little bit into debt. And, and again, I don't necessarily need to go into debt because I'm going to make some on that straw. I'm not going to make a lot. But basically, um, you know, th this is what I was using on Lomeric's farm. It's, you know, basically double. 18.3 versus 36.5. However, 
you know, and the pricing is about the same, but the big difference is, again, I need 530 horse versus 280 horse here. And what that means is I would, my tractor isn't big enough to do this. So similar to why I have the planter I have now, I think this makes sense. And I would go ahead and, and get this, the 24 row planter in the spring and do that. And then between the bale pickup and the other piece, I would just have to see, you know, how I do. And I might have to go into debt a little bit. But again, my greenhouses are going to make some money for the next few months and so forth. So I don't really need the harvesting equipment and the bale pickup until almost a year from now. So the only thing I really need is this. So I certainly can get going on that. And while I'd prefer to have more harvesters eventually, like I can grow into all that. So yeah, maybe we can convert over next year into this. So that that's uh that's kind of exciting. So for the spinnery, it's five hundred and twenty thousand. Now it says a large spinnery, which implies that there is a small one somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. So I can do that for one thirty five. So one of those kinds. And then the tailor shop I knew was two point three six million. So I know I need to grow into that could relatively quickly you know I might have to go a year but then the next year I might be able to already put up a spinnery you know go ahead and, and do that work so I think that's gonna be the plan but that will allow me to keep my planter if I want to do it because I didn't realize till I was looking through the productions we can do things like wine and distilleries and stuff here which require other products but I think they also might require a mixture of crops that I don't have. But uh, you know, I think starting out with cotton would be good because there's still the benefit of cotton, as I said, is it, it eliminates dropping the straw and picking that up. And, and it's not that I have to do that, but it would obviously take even longer to not do that. I mean, it's a shame I can't use my round bale pickup to pick up straw. It's the cotton. I don't think I can. It's just straw. It was worth a shot. I'm like, you know, they're round bales. Like, why not? But no, it won't do that. So I may ask the question in the off season of folks, uh, because I'm pretty sure Lil Merrick has the John Deere's. And other than he really wanted John Deere and he had enough money, I just don't know why that's worth double. So I think I feel like I'm missing something on that equipment. So I'm going to ask the question and make a decision, but I've got a couple days till I need to do that. And I say that, but I want to make sure. Okay, yeah, because then actually more than a couple days, because yes, cotton is a later planting, and then we harvest a little bit, little bit longer, where or a little bit later as well, because otherwise, you know, I'm planting in a couple days, and then we're harvesting very quickly there. So let me do that research and, and talk with folks about some stuff and we may be making some changes here and going on to the next uh, iteration of the farm here. But if I convert these two fields to cotton, you know, the question's going to be, am I going to make, I hope I make at least as much. I mean, I guess I'll find out and We'll see what makes sense, but I think it will be easier for me to manage cotton than it will be to do other things. Which is kind of why I was headed in that direction. So with that, I th we've got enough here to wrap up the year. And as I said, you know, I'm, I'm hoping we get another, you know, we should get 15,000 a day out of that thing buzzing away or burning away behind me the little biogas factory so I'm thinking we're gonna get 30 40 thousand maybe out of what we threw in there that would be nice you know the greenhouses are running they're about halfway empty so I'll get those filled up shortly 
in the spring or whatever, but that, that should last for several days yet. We're slowly getting some funds, but then I can at least start doing some things, and that will you know, make a determination of what makes sense. And, you know, maybe eventually, as we get larger, we kind of grow into the John Deere planter or something, because once again, if I somehow get field 37, 38, get some of the other things, um, you know, then I might have enough land eventually where it's like, yeah, I want to plant faster, I want to do other things a little quicker. So I'm just kind of taking a look here, because the fields we were planting here were these. You know, and 34 is a good size, if I can save up for that, you know, but the challenge ends up being like, you know, obviously doing what I'm doing now, I'm switching to cotton before I get that, but I think that makes more sense to be doing the crop I'd like to be doing, um, rather than than other things. All right, so it's interesting. I just decided to jump over here to Lomerics. It looks like he got rid of his olives and grapes. So yeah, he switched some stuff over. He doesn't even have olive production anymore. So he's definitely switched over. I know he's got potatoes in certain places. But yeah, I was looking at what he was growing, and I'm like, wait a minute. He's growing something totally different, and he is. But, yeah, I haven't been over here in a while, but he's got some potato harvesters in there. But those are his John Deere cotton harvesters. He did let us know, like, if we wanted to grow potatoes, we could use his equipment. You know, that's not something I'm looking to get into. I've done that enough that I'm not not falling over myself to do that. But potatoes could be, you know, in the distillery production or something. But that is probably decades down the road before we're anywhere near that. But yeah, at a minimum, um, you know, if I can switch to cotton, eventually get field 34, you know, maybe that turns into two harvesters or something. But my hope is that over time, this kind of gets to the point where I can use some bigger equipment and get things done a bit quicker. But one step at a time, so... I could go on for another 20 minutes speculating in my head, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and get this put away, wrapped up, and we've got another year in the books, but pretty exciting year here as we're heading into our, starting our second decade, this is year 11, that we just are closing the books on, and we're at the point where it looks like we might be able to convert the farm over to cotton. So unless something changes, that's the plan I think I'll be going with next year. If you've enjoyed the video and enjoying the Travels Through Farmers Only Club here and haven't dropped a like, please consider that. And if you are not a subscriber to the channel, please consider that as well. And I will see you next time.